So it looks like it's not a fake. When you open it up and look inside. It's actually reasonably well made. This live wire is a little skimpy. That should really be a heavier gauge wire. The spades uh, could be a little better. Not horrific. Main power button. Oh, that's properly heat shrunk. Yeah, that's not too bad. The gauge wire isn't too light. It's a bit unfortunate it's floating free, but then this isn't supposed to be disassembled all the time. Kind of surprised the front panel just sits in there with these little lugs. But then the case normally holds it together, so I suppose that's okay. Main giveaway is the control board. This is uh, not the Heiko control board. Uh, this is the fairly well-known Chinese knockoff that uses uh, two little LM358 uh, and 324 chips. Um, dirty great big resistor sitting right there in the back. Um, and the electrolytic capacitor as well. Uh, on the actual Heiko, these are around on the front. The front here is, as you can see, almost completely bare. Uh, but the wiring seems reasonably okay. The fuse seems intact, if not quite brilliant. Uh, maybe the HPC ones would have been... Uh, the ceramics would have been a little bit better there, but... Uh, it's not horrible. I know those are exposed, but those are the low voltage takeoffs, so that's not too bad. And there's no... Oddly enough, there's no sign of welding on the transformer, which you've seen on a couple of the other ones, um, where a kind of a hasty weld mark makes this sort of burnt-out groove in the metal uh, right up near this end. Um, that seems to be absent here. It's all nicely insulated and looks all okay. So I suppose we give this a try. We see how it plays out. Um, it's a shame I thought I was buying old stock rather than the kind of, ooh, it's so incredibly cheap. But second hand old stock on the original Heiko would have been nice enough. I don't, I like the analog version on this, that the digital is just, I, I can see why they'd have it if you're doing like assembly line stuff on a factory floor where you want to control what exactly the um, the temperature you're going to be using is but for home kit this should be okay at least for now mind you it still sucks that they sell it as a Heiko why can't you just sell it with a different name brand why do you have to why can't you just say you're making a clone of it or something we'd still buy it there's still a demand for these things out there. You know, it's not a bad iron. Assuming it doesn't all fall apart because you've used really substandard components, but we'll have to let it burn in to find that out. <laughs>